Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump on and do a quick shop update or I don't know, I see all the other channels do shop updates, but this is more of a, I guess, a, a milliard update. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you what I've been up to because I haven't had a chance to get a video out this week because I've been doing so much to try to prepare for Emma's birthday party, which is in two days. <laughs> so we have the leech field, which is down there and it's there's a little bit of like crabgrass trying to come in and so we get a little bit of something down there that's a place where the kids will be able to play this coming weekend and so i'm not really too concerned about doing what i need to do down there they pretty much have an open area to play down there um up here though if i don't know if you remember from seeing in the videos but there used to be uh kind of a chicken coop turkey pen over here and there was even more of a hill over here but I've been digging it out and leveling out the yard and have been I think I've been doing okay Stacy's been coming home every day and she seems pretty happy with it so I'm trying to get it all level and clear we're not gonna have any grass for the party but at least we'll have a nice flat yard and there's so much sand and the ground over here I'm actually thinking about building a box and topping it off with sand over here so the kids can play in the sand uh, so I think that would be cool for the party um, so once the party's over, believe it or not, I have about another 15 logs to go pick up. No, probably closer to 20. <laughs> um, and I have been working on, speaking of cleaning up the yard, working on trying to stack the logs in a way that is more organized than I've been doing. Which, you know, for what I've been doing, it doesn't take much to be more organized than that. So, <laughs> um, so here's a nice little stack of pine. And then that is a large mixture of pine and oak over there. I still have some logs around the property that I still have to go get and bring over and stack, but it's really all out of the way and not that big a deal. And like I said, I still have 15 or 20 more logs to go get, and I probably have another 20 logs laying around the property, but at least they're in places that are, are hidden and aren't going to be a problem for Emma's birthday party because you know that's the most important thing right now. Um, so I still get the backhoe. I have to still weld on. I, I purchased a Titan Attachments uh, weld on thumb, which is uh, a mechanical thumb, not a hydraulic. So basically you position the thumb the way you want it to be, and then turning the bucket will grab whatever you're looking to grab. So I still have to weld that on. I might try to do that this weekend. If not, sometime in the next week or so, I'd like to do that because it'll make it easier, I think, organizing the logs around here because I'll be able to just grab them rather than trying to use that grapple hook, which actually does work pretty well. Uh, in some cases, it'll actually work better than the thumb wheel, only because with the thumb, you can't turn while you have it in the air. You, you have to take it for what it is, well, at least with the grapple it can turn and I can position it in a way where I can stack it better. Um, as far as the kiln goes, I've almost got it finished. I have some more videos to edit and put out on that, but believe it or not, I've actually gone ahead and used that. I didn't get the siding done or the outside painting done. There's still some insulation inside to do and interior painting to do. Uh, there's a little bit more weatherproofing and uh, stuff that I need to do, but for the most part, it's pretty usable. Um, I tested it out with a load of pine that I just recently cut from some of those trees that came down in the storm. I loaded it in there about two and a half weeks ago and I just pulled it out today and this stuff is bone dry. <laughs> this stuff is really, really dry. It came out, it came out great. This is, um, so which is why it's not stickered. It's all dry. Um, I think I've got it down to about, I've been checking some of the boards. 10 to 15 percent humidity or moisture content so it got really hot in that kiln i've got it uh some days 120 130 degrees and that was in the shade <laughs> in the kiln in the back where the fans are blowing um because really that's where that's the temperature that the wood is going to see putting it in where the baffles are and the black painted material isn't really going to tell me the temperature that the wood is is getting so I put it in the back in the shade in the very back part where the fans are on the stack of wood and I was getting over 120 degrees there so um, it was working really well and I have a little bit of tightening up to do I'm probably going to do this weekend before I reload it um, and I have all that wood up 
there behind that stack of logs. That's all hardwood that I milled over the past year, year and a half. And I want to put a bunch of that in here, probably just for a couple of weeks to get it down to the moisture content that I'd like to see it at. And in the meantime, I'm also going to be working on building an equipment shed and adding the extension, finally adding the extension to the track for the sawmill. So I'll be doing that very soon. And like I said, the equipment shed, which I'm probably going to take this tree back here behind the mill out and probably put the equipment shed right there. I can put all my chainsaws in there, my blades and any tools that I need for the mill and that sort of thing so I can get a little bit more organized. I still need to take this firewood and bring it down into the woodsheds and that will give me more space. And back here, I want to build a pole barn. I actually have to go pick up a half a dozen telephone poles that somebody is giving me. And I'm going to use those to build a pole barn so I can store dry lumber. And another thing I plan on doing is building a shed here over my favorite tool, which um, at some point I got to get to, which will make milling and storing the mill a lot easier. But right now the priority is to get the whole wood process in order. Um, I also have um, lots of wood here ear drying. I got a crap load of stickers. But I have all this wood here air drying and then all of that air drying right now. So this stack stands about probably uh, seven feet tall, six and a half feet up. So and then another stack just like it next to it. So I'll have all that, all that. I'll be able to do some use to do some building outdoors, some of the things I got to build. But this pine that I just dried, I'm going to use for uh, projects and things. And then I might even post some of it just for sale because I'm not so sure I'll need to use all of it. <laughs> so anyway, that is an update on the mill yard. Oh, yes. And one other big thing that has made all of this work a ton faster is this. I picked up a JCB Robot 170 skid steer and the tires are not in great shape. They're pretty bald, but they are foam filled, so they're flat free. They won't, I actually, there's nails and screws in these tires and uh, they're not going to go flat. But rather than buying new tires, and I know I'm going to need tire chains for the winter anyway, I just figured, let me just add some traction. I'll get some tire chains, put them on there, and it'll be good for the winter too. And now I don't have to buy tires because that's going to give me the traction that new tire treads would give me anyway. And these tires aren't going to go flat, so I don't have to worry about that. And it's been working really, really well. Um, I have a lot of sand around here. When it rains, I get a lot of mud, and these have been great in all of that. I had, there's nothing I haven't been able to get out of. And if there is, of course, I got the big guy over there that I can bring out to pull this one out if I need to, but I don't think I'm going to run into that problem at this point. Um, I purchased a set of forks for it. I have the, a grapple that I picked up for picking up logs, which I have right about over there. Um, and that's a hydraulic grapple, which has been really, really helpful. I mean, amazing how much quicker I can stack logs using that. And then of course I have the bucket, I think it's a four or five foot bucket that it came stock with. It's a 2005, it's got, it only had 475 hours on it when I bought it and I got an unbelievable deal on it. And I have been running this a lot more than I've been running the backhoe because this thing is so much more nimble and quick and I can move around the yard because I don't have to do a 12 point turn to turn around because I don't have a 15,000 pound 20 foot long machine. I got this little guy and it can lift about 3,000 pounds. So I can lift most of the things I need it to lift and it can pretty much go anywhere, especially places that that can't. So it's been really, really, it's been priceless pretty much for me here. It's been I've been able to get a lot more work done that way. Um, so things are coming along. I'm getting more organized. I'm starting to work out a system. And so I just wanted to fill you in on all that. If you guys have any suggestions or see anything that you think would be helpful um, or that I could possibly improve on, you know, definitely let me know. I am, I'm really trying hard to make this uh, 
more of a long-term thing so any advice or suggestion you guys have that would be great but I'm really pumped I've been having a great time today I've been pretty much stacking wood all most of the day um, I'm pretty much probably gonna call it quits now for the day only because I want to get some designs put together in SketchUp for dog houses and chicken coops and some things that I want to start building and selling with some a lot of this wood that I'm cutting and I also want to get those videos edited for you guys so you can watch them. But um, also, I'm just going to put this out video out tonight. So I'm just recording it now. It's going to go out unedited. Um, and so I just wanted to also let you know that tomorrow night I do plan on doing the live. And I will probably, it'll be between, it'll be either 8 or 9 p.m. tomorrow night, depending on what I'm doing. It may possibly be 8, 30, 9 o'clock, only because we get a lot more daylight now than we do in the winter months. And I try to take out take advantage of as much of that as I can it looks like we might be getting some rain this weekend so if I can take advantage of the good weather I'm going to do that um, because we got her birthday party on Saturday so I want to get this yard cleaned up there's still quite a bit to do I've also been working on my chainsaws out here I've had a few chainsaws that haven't been doing well this is my 660 and the pawls on the starter pulley um, are worn out so I, I ordered some of them I should have those tomorrow and I'll get that replaced I need to adjust the carb I think on this or clean it on this uh, Johnson red uh, 70 cc saw and I have my 391 which is missing a screw to hold the muffler on so it's loud and rattly so I, I get a little bit of maintenance I've been doing and a little bit of yard cleanup and so this week I haven't gotten a lot done with the mill but uh, I've been quite productive. So anyway, this video is getting a bit long. We are close to 12 minutes now. I just wanted to jump in and say hi to everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I'll give you a little bit of update of where we are at. And uh, well, we'll hope to see you tomorrow night on the live stream. And if not, hope you have a great weekend and be looking out for some videos coming up very soon. Talk to you soon. Take care.